Some of my earliest and fondest gaming memories center around the demo discs from within PlayStation Magazine. Some of these games I'd eventually get my hands on, but for me, most existed solely in demo form. A few of these demos I'd go back to again and again, and one of those games was a little-known title called Firebugs. Firebugs was a futuristic arcade combat racing game, embracing anime visuals and iconic music from Boom Funk MCs. But the thing that captured my interest and my imagination the most was the movement. Racing up walls and onto the ceilings was just mind-blowing for me, and something that stuck with me ever since. A couple of years ago, I crossed paths with the Red Out games. These are great, but I craved something a little bit more arcadey. Eventually, the topic of this video popped up on my radar. It matched the speed and movement I craved, but with a retro art style more akin to the games I played as a kid. And that game was Aero GPX. The first thing that hits you about Aero GPX is the visuals. While clearly inspired by games like F-Zero, the game feels like a cross between an 80s arcade game and a Saturday morning cartoon. This is present in the general art style, but more specifically in the ship and character designs. These aesthetics don't limit the game at all. It still conveys a real sense of speed and momentum and doesn't feel cartoony. Each race takes place on different and varied planets, keeping the visual interest and stopping the tracks from at all feeling samey. Aside from the visuals and the theming, each track plays wildly different to each other. You even land in 2D Town for a race, and you end up feeling like a reverse Homer from that one episode of The Simpsons. I especially enjoyed the section in one of the races where you raced upside down with a lake of lava becoming the sky above you. It was such an awesome moment and each of the tracks has a memorable moment that sticks with you even after you've put the controller down. Even though they're just bouncing PNGs, the roar of the crowd and their presence just adds to the presentation. If I lived in the Aero GPX universe, I'd be watching every week, wearing my number 44 Fane jersey. My, my soul, soul is, is yours, yours goddess. goddess! The variety of characters and ships on display really give the feeling of this being the best racers from across the galaxy come together to juke it out to find out who's top dog. All the character designs ooze personality, combining the character with the ship designs and you can already tell at a glance exactly what a racer's style is without ever having to look at their stats. It's such great attention to detail. I even like the comic book background and ships whizzing by on the menus. Even when this game is still, it's still in motion. And then the music is the icing on top. Punchy kick-ass guitar riffs, Pulse-pounding techno. And some heroic tracks that wouldn't be out of place in the ending scene of an anime. They all perfectly fill out the feeling of the game. The boost sounds are satisfying, as are the collisions with the walls and your opponents. The wind whistles through your ears in the flying sections. It's all really nice stuff. So let's talk about gameplay. At time of recording, there are three Grand Prix made up of five races each. In Korea, you'll go through these races to earn enough tickets to unlock the Grand Prix, and then winning that unlocks the next set of races. Certain races along the way will unlock certain vehicles and drivers. That's all pretty straightforward. The game hints at there being two more Grand Prix, rounding out for a total of 25 tracks. That number feels about right for a game of its scope. The controls are relatively simple, accelerate, turn and slide your way around the track. There might be a brake button, but I neither found it nor used it. There's also a rotating dive move that you can perform from flying to the ground to damage enemies and maintain your speed on landing. I did not expect this game to make me feel like Rock Lee. Smashing into ships and the side barriers, something you'll be doing a lot of, especially if you're me, 
depletes health. This, as well as refills for your boost meter, can be picked up on the track at usually one or two spots per lap. Some maps are more generous with both than others. There's also an overheat mechanic where hitting flaming obstacles and specific flaming boost pads will damage you and portion off a bit of your health bar. That will amplify your boosts from both pads and your own boosts, slowly whittling them down that health that it's allocated for the boost, and once that's burned off, the effect wears off. I love a good risk and reward mechanic in my games, and this is a great example of one. The races are fast and exhilarating, from ground races to races across pipes, in the air, and sometimes in tubes, which, thanks to firebugs, is my secret kink. The variety across the tracks and also within each track will keep you on your toes. Or should I say tires? <laughs> uh, sorry. There's not much more to say on gameplay, really. Easy to learn, difficult to master, great sense of speed and energy. Impacts aren't overly oomphy, but that's intentional. This is a game all about speed, and so you tend to grind against or slide off of objects. You'd think with so much going on that this would be a minefield for bugs, but I only encountered one major one once, but everything else was so enjoyable that it didn't impact my fun whatsoever. And that goes for the areas that weren't quite there for me. The racing on the danger noodles is just so slippery. I'm still grinning ear to ear as I pass an opponent while doing a loop-de-loop, -loop, but it's still a little frustrating at times, especially when you're struggling for control in these sections. Right now the game is in early access with plans for local multiplayer, which I can see being an absolute blast. Online multiplayer would also be sweet, just saying. Overall, Aero GPX nails the retro-futuristic style while controlling like a modern space racer. It's fast, fun, and frantic, and oozes style. If this game sounds remotely like your jam, check it out on Steam. I've had so much fun with this game that even I had to stop writing this script to go play more of it. Really looking forward to some additional content, maybe a roadmap to get excited about for future updates. I'd love to see this whole genre grow and take off a bit, and see more arcadey futuristic races in the future. But what would your Aero GPX vehicle and character look like? Let me know in the comments down below. Shocked that I reviewed something that wasn't a roguelike? Me too. But if you're new around here and like indie games and especially roguelikes, consider dropping me a subscribe. Thank you so much for being my co-pilot on this high-speed race through YouTube, and I'll see you next time. Bye!